All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the senior stack design that we made during our graduation series in Affinity, um, now in Silhouette Studios. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my custom media size to be 17 by 17, just because that's what we did for our pillow design. All right, then I'm going to come over here, grab our text tool. And I'm going to type out senior. Let's go ahead and increase this sizing. We're going to go up. The font is already downloaded to my computer. So our base font is Rock and Soda, which you can find over in our Facebook group. Let's go with a blue base. Okay, I'm going to turn off this line just because I don't want to see it. And then we are going to add an offset. So over here on your right panel, you're going to go to the star. That's going to give you an offset. And we're going to make our offset to be, let's do 1.3. And let's go ahead and hit apply. Let's change the color of this offset to be yellow. Let's go ahead and take off that outline. And then we're going to add a second offset. And we're going to leave that also. Let's increase that to one, 0 0.15. Let's go ahead and hit apply. And we're going to turn this one to white. Okay. And let's turn off that outline. So right now you can't, oops, sorry. You can't see the background because it's white. So let's go back to our page setup and let's change the media color to red just so we can see it. All right, we're gonna size that up. Let's grab all three of these, group them together and let's duplicate. So control D and I want to send this one to the back. All right, let's ungroup and let's swap the colors. So instead of this one being blue, we're going to make it yellow. And then we're going to grab our first offset and make that the blue color. Okay. So let's grab those three again. Let's group them back together. Let's grab both of them and duplicate. And let's send those to the back. Whoops, this one here is sent to the back. And then let's take our blue one more time, duplicate that one, put it all the way up and send it to the back. Okay, so now we have them in the order that we want them. Let's go ahead and let's go to objects and then we're going to go to align and then we are going to space vertically because we want to space them out evenly okay now i do want to make this a little wider and also a little shorter because i don't want it to have like that square look Next, we're going to add in some more text. Class of 2023. Let's go ahead and give this a color so we can see it. So let's make it our yellow. Let's increase the size. And then our font for this one is Houston Signature. So let's increase it. Let's take off this red outline. Let's add an offset. This time we want our offset to be much smaller. So let's bring this down. So we're going to go with, let's go with 0 0.8. 
apply. All right, and let's make that white. Turn off the outline. And then we also want to weld that together. Okay, let's make a second offset. And we're at about, let me zoom in a little. Oops. So let's undo that. So I need to change my offset size. So let's create an offset and let's make it 0 0.15. And let's hit apply. And let's make this our blue color. And remove the outline and let's send that backwards. Okay. So let's grab all of our class of 2023. Let's group it. Ooh, that yellow is really bright. And let's grab all of this. Go to objects, align. And let's align to the center so that way they all line up. The next thing I want to do is pull in my picture. So I'm going to go to File, Merge. Oh, let's see if I can find my picture. Let's see, might be this one. Oh, this picture will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag her there. And I'm gonna move her all the way to the back and then move her forward until she's in front of all of the seniors except for the bottom. Right, let's grab all of that, bring it down. Let's add in some more text and we can go with Ender come high. So let's go ahead and pick our font, which is going to be Rock and Soda. We'll make it white. Just for now, let's stretch it. Okay, line that up in the center. Let's go ahead and make this our blue. Remove the outline, add an offset. Um, it's hard to see the offset sign because the background is red as well. So let's cancel that. Let me change our background color to gray. There we go. Now let's add our offset. Zero point nine, and you can pick whatever size you want. I'm just grabbing random sizes just so you can see. Let's go ahead and make this white. Remove the outline. Add another offset. Zero point one. And let's make that our yellow. Remove the outline. And let's 
just group all of those together. Control G is a shortcut for grouping. All right, let's send that to the back. Let's grab all of this, align it to the center so that way everything is all lined up. Perfect. Now we went to Google and we just Googled halftones. So I saved the halftone to my computer. So I'm going to go to merge. I saved it in my pictures. Here it is, halftone. So this is how it's going to come in. But as you can see, I am not able to change the color. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab what looks like a butterfly. This is the trace. Hit select trace area. Draw it around that area. And then you can adjust the threshold here if you want it to be more or less. So the yellow is what's going to trace. So if you slide it too far or too too little, you're not going to get all of your dots. So depending on which one you download is going to determine how much of a threshold you need. Once you do that, you go ahead and hit trace. And now you have all of these red dots. I can get rid of this black. So now I can go change the color. We're going to make the top yellow. Remove the outline. Okay, drop it over here. Let's increase the size. And let's send it to the back. Now I can move it around. Duplicate that. Oops, did not mean to grab that. Move this one down to the bottom. Let's make this our teal color or blue. Let's drop that one to the back. And let's adjust where we place it. Okay, let's select everything. And now we can group it together. And then we can resize it. Because remember, this is our pillow size, so we want it to fit. And then there we go. We can take our workspace, go back and change it back to white. And there is our design. So if you have, oops. if you have any questions, feel free to uh, comment them below. And just like that, we created the same design that we did in Affinity Designer and Silhouette Studios. And you guys have a great night.